welcome to mathsmaster.org. We're going to have a look at how you calculate a fraction of an amount. Now, we're used to the idea of being able to calculate the fraction of a shape that is shaded in, or put another way, the proportion of this shape that is shaded in, and giving that as a fraction. So in the case of this rectangle, we can see that three-fifths of it is shaded in green. Fifths mean that we take the rectangle and we divide it into five equal size pieces. Each piece is one-fifth. If we want three-fifths, we just take three of those, as you can see. Similarly so, with this rectangle, we can see that five-eighths of it are shaded in. That means if we're working in eighths, that we take the rectangle, we divide it into eight equal size pieces, and we want five of them because we wanted five-eighths of the rectangle. So five of those eighths are shaded in, as you can see. Okay, when we're talking about calculating a fraction of an amount, we're using the same idea, but we're doing it with numbers rather than thinking about the amount of a shape that's shaded in. So to start with, we're going to have a look at how we would calculate a quarter of 16. Now I'm still going to use um, some blue dots here to show you sort of visually what's going on. But the idea that I want to get into your mind is that we're finding a quarter of the number 16. And that's what we call calculating a fraction of an amount. OK, so to start with, if we're working in quarters, we need to take that 16 and divide it into four equal sized groups, as you can see here. Each group would be one quarter of 16. So if we want one quarter of 16, we shade in one of the groups. And as you can see, we'd have four blue dots. So one quarter of 16 is four. We could move this on and have a look at what two quarters of 16 is. Two quarters of 16 would be eight. Or three quarters of 16 would be 12. OK, another example now. We're going to look at uh, what three fifths of 20 is now. If we're working in fifths, we need to take the 20 and divide it into five equal groups. 20 divided by 5 is 4. So you can see here that there's four blue dots in each group. There are five groups. Each group is one-fifth of 20. So one-fifth of 20 is 4. But we don't want one-fifth of 20. We want three-fifths of 20. So Three-fifths of 20 is 3 times the 4 that we had in each group is 12. OK, I just want to have a look at how we do it with numbers now. Now that we've got the idea of what a calculating a fraction of an amount is, I'm going to lose the diagrams and just try and do it with numbers and see if we can follow this. Right, we're going to do 4 tenths of 50. Well, if we're working in tenths... The first thing we do is we say we take 50 and we divide that by 10. If we divide it by 10, we get what one tenth of 50 is. 50 divided by 10 is 5, so one tenth of 50 is 5. But we don't want one tenth of 50, we want four tenths of 50. We want four times as many, if you like. So if one-tenth is five, four-tenths is four times five, which is 20. So four-tenths of 50 is 20. OK, so just to recap, if we want to work out four-tenths of 50, we start off by finding one-tenth of 50, taking 50 and dividing by 10. And then we take the answer and multiply it by four, because we wanted four-tenths. OK. One more example now, just to finish off. If we want to calculate 3 eighths of 32, we say to ourselves, we're working in eighths, so we, we can calculate what 1 eighth 
of 32 is by taking 32 and dividing it by 8. That gives us 4. So 1 8 of 32 is 4. And then we say we've got 1 8 of 32 as 4. We want 3 8 of 32. We want 3 times as many. So we take that 4 and multiply it by 3. And that gives us 12. So 3 8 of 32 is 12. Just to recap, if we want 3 8 of 32, we start off by finding 1 8 by dividing it by 8. And then we times it by 3 because we want 3 8 OK, that was calculating a fraction of an amount. If you want to see some more fantastic maths videos, please visit mathsmaster.org.